Okay, let's talk about kit bashing with the place command. Okay, I've got some folders here for kit. I got one that says kit bash. Basically, I created the parts, you know, usually in place or wherever, and I then created a little folder of ones that I can use and replicate around the mesh. So let's go take a look at one of our buttons here. So we'll take a look at this guy here real quick. All you got to do is select your object that you want and then go ahead and do Control D and bring us up a little arrow and dialog here. And I am going to click center on him. And now you can see it created a duplicate of him and he's ready to be placed wherever you want. And he'll start attaching to whatever as long as you got snap and turned on. So let's go ahead and he wants to go, uh, I want him to go here. Let's go ahead and line him up dead center there. And you've got uh, a couple different commands. You could do a flip, which uh, reverses the direction. But what we want, I believe it's this guy. Yep. This will, this is an offset. So we want him out just a little bit. There we go. And then if you right click, it finishes that command, but then creates a new duplicate for you. So I'm just going to escape out of that. I'm going to just go ahead and drag him up, use one of our previous commands, rectangular, rectangular array. I'm going to have him go down here and then change the number. How's that look? Eh. I kind of touch it a bit. Let me bring him up. There we go. And rectangular array. There. Hold down shift. Left click. And done. There we go. We got him in there. So let's go pick another item to put in here. Let's uh, click him. Control D for place. We're going to click the center of him. And we'll put him like right here and drag him out to where we want him. You can also adjust the scale. We can make him a little bit larger, smaller, whatever. It will remember what you did. Right click to execute and draws another one for you. But I like to just... Uh, keep things uh, somewhat symmetrical. There we go. Do another one. We'll just go right next to them. Actually, I could have just done a shift D. Boop, got them. All right, let's go grab one of these sliders here. Select, control D. Zoom in here so I could see. There we go. I'm going to drag him out. I see a lot of these things I built in place and then drug them off and threw them into a folder there. So we got that there. Let's see. It's kind of hard to hit that face there. 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 Cool. All right. So say like, well, I got this part over here. It's kind of cool. I want to hold on to him for a little while longer. So I'm going to select him. Use my uh, special key bind in here. So it's not the one you're going to have. You'll have to set it up yourself. And then I'm going to do shift D duplicate. So I made a sheet there. And then and, uh, Focus in on him, select that edge, patch him. Okay. And we're going to rotate that face. Yep. 
Yeah, it's pretty close. That'll work. And rotate. Perfect. All right, and let's find him out here. Close up some of these folders. So there we go. I just click, drag, and drop him. And now he's in my little kit bash folder. So that's basically it for kit bashing with uh, the place command, which is Control D. So there you go, and now you can make up your own little kit bash.